Welcome everyone, Rowdy here, and let's look at the world event, Keyed In. This time we're going for Infernal Gears instead of regular points. Everything is multiplied by 10. Okay, so every week things are different, that's fine, as long as we know what we're doing. I bought through Tier 4 in the shop to get the new weapon, gain a barrier, give life to an ally, then cleanse and enchant them. Yay. Uh, and that also gives us one complete Medal of Spirits, 160% spell damage for all troops in the current event. And let me show you what I'm using right now. And I think it's going to work out fine for now. Uh, I've got Sun Spear, and I'm going Golden Cog, which gives armor equal to their current armor. So basically a double. Tesla, 8 true scatter damage, boosted by all ally and enemy armor. That's on a 4 to 1 ratio. And Tina, another true damage. Uh, 43 to 86 true damage to three random enemies, gain armor. And I am using two guard medals and the one event medal. Then Leprechaun is my mana generator. I think you could also go, I did try it before, uh, Summer's Fury, uh, Yao Guai, and Queen Titania here, which is pretty close to the normal Yao team and you could also go double Tesla here and Golden Cog probably I guess it doesn't really matter because you know they're gonna hit whoever they're gonna hit and just go that way then I've got a kind of a starter team and they've given us a pretty wide range of troops we can use this time uh, you can use all yellow I'm sorry all red or purple uh, weapons and troops and I've been casting golden cog on Tina and you can see how much uh, HP they have now but you take 274 you double it and take 60% of that and it does pretty well so as you can see this is why I like going true damage if I can. Why you have to get rid of all that armor if you don't have to. And there's quite a few uh, true damage troops in here. If you don't have two Teslas or a Tina, you could throw in... Uh, you could throw Clockwork Sphinx in here, which gives armor to everybody in, in your party. Uh, Crimson Bat is also an option for newer players that might work okay. Once you start getting up to levels, you know, this isn't even the end of day one. And Marty casting Golden Cog on Tina. And as you can see, we're not killing everything in one shot anymore. And I'm out of sigils. So, uh, let us take a quick look yeah as you can see it's uh, red purple so I mean there are just tons of troops you know you could use bat swarm if you're a newer player crimson bat does true damage you don't have to go true damage that's just what I prefer to do and that Yao team should work pretty well because uh, with Yao and uh, purple on the board good chance you're going to get a lot of double matches. And let us take a look at kind of a beginner team that I put together. I will get back here. And this team can be switched up, you know, as you see fit. Uh, Black Manacles, and I've got this on Titan. And my original team... Um, if it starts getting to where Golden Cog is getting one shot, I'll probably put Life and Death up front and then just have to worry about casting Tesla and or Tina a couple times. 
Uh, but Black Manacles uh, does damage to all enemies, 20% chance to devour a random enemy. Uh, Gargoyle, pretty easy to get. Does splash damage to an enemy, boosted by all allies' attack, explode two gems. I thought about putting Mang or Earth's Fury in front, because that would increase your attack. They just double up on, you know, mana blocking. And Boltoros does scatter damage boosted by his life on a 1 to 1 ratio, so that's not too bad. And if you multiply that by the 160% uh, metal, you're not doing too bad. And then Leprechaun. Uh, one other thing that I'm thinking you could do is the weapon Secrets of the Crypt, if you have that, or Life and Death up front. But if you wanted to use Secret of the Crypt, you could put Gargoyle in front because he does have 50% skull reduction and maybe move Boltoros up and put Secrets of the Crypt down here. And you could probably change that to Orb Weaver for Stealthy on Secrets of the Crypt if you lose anything that will summon a troop for you. So that's kind of how I'm looking at this event right now. If anybody has any other good team ideas, go ahead and post them in the comments. Uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Throw me a like if you enjoyed that, and I will catch you later.